Hey YouTube, it's Everything Epan here, and today I'm doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Server 2016 Preview in VirtualBox or VMware. Now this is a preview version of Windows Server 2016 at the time of this video, which is beginning of June, and um, you do you are required to have a Microsoft account for this, um, or otherwise you will not be able to do it. So. Um, links will be in the description for everything you'll need from VirtualBox or VMware to the ISO link from Microsoft on their website and all that good stuff. So you'll see that. Uh, you'll see VirtualBox here, VMware, you know the drill there. Scroll down. And then the link in the description will get you to this download where you do have to have a Microsoft account in order. Um, in order to uh, do it. So you can uh, either do the ISO or the uh, virtual hard drive which is basically kind of like a uh, there's no GUI interface with it so I recommend doing the ISO but it is a big file it's like four or five gigs I think so just be aware of that it's a really big ISO you have to do this like registration stuff just kind of go through it and you'll be good to go. So. Now what you'll need to do after uh, downloading the ISO is you're going to want to go ahead and hit um, new on the top left and do Windows Server 2016 Preview. And then what you're going to want to do is you can do um, either Windows 2012 or Windows 10. I'm just going to do Windows 2012 since that's more of a server version. Hit next, next again, create a virtual hard drive. And then what you want to do now is you want to go to settings, storage, go to the empty disk, find the ISO. It would be labeled something like this. Hit open, OK, and then go ahead and start the machine. It'll start up. Oops. It'll start up. It'll say loading files. It'll just kind of load just for a little bit here. Shouldn't take too long. And this will require a product key, which is also here too. If you go to, um, I don't know, it's not description. It would be uh, explore. Go to pre install information and then the standard version is here and you can also do the data center data center version here just look on the website it's here I'm gonna do the standard so I'll just keep that in mind so I'm gonna put that on my other screen so I can look at that when I type it in and here you go you'll get to this screen um, make sure your language is correct hit next and then install now this is very similar to Windows 10 setup and then what you're gonna do I think it will ask you for a pro the product key right now. I mean, you can skip it, but might as well just do it now. So uh, let me go ahead and enter in the product key quick for you guys, and I'll be back once that's finished. Okay, so I got the product key entered in, and you'll get to this screen selecting which one you want to install. Now, the top one is a non-GUI interface, so you won't have a GUI interface. You'll basically have just the uh, Windows PowerShell, and that would be it. Kind of similar to just what MS DOS was, and then this one is a GUI interface, and uh, I'm going to select that one because I prefer a GUI interface. So we're going to go ahead and hit next. Once you select which one you want, and then you'll agree to the license terms. Hit next. Hit custom. Then find your drive hit next and then you're gonna go ahead and let it install this can take some time from a range of 10 to 20 minutes so just gotta let it sit do its thing and I will be back once we hit a restart point or our next setup screen alright guys so I just missed I don't know if it was the first or second restart point I really haven't been paying attention and I apologize for that so um, basically you're just gonna let it sit and just let it reboot and do its thing. This could have been the second reboot. I didn't even pay attention. I really apologize for that. But basically, you know, you just let it sit, do its thing, and if it ever says press any key to boot from CD or DVD, please don't do that. 
or you'll just be going in a constant loop and you will not have fun with that so just let it do its thing and it will eventually load itself into the uh, uh, next part of the setup so uh, as you see it'll give us the little circle here for a little while and then we will get to the point where we start setting up like the user and everything like that and you'll get to uh, get a chance to use the interface of Windows Server 2016 so reminder that this is just a preview so that this can have some bugs in it and it will not be a perfect operating system this is just a for uh, or kind of like beta testing purposes uh, development testing purposes only um, so it won't be perfect so let's say getting devices ready um, this could take a little bit of time, so I'm going to let it sit. I'll be back with you guys once we hit the next screen. Okay, so eventually you'll get to this screen that says Customize Settings and uh, to set up the built-in administrator account. So you're going to want to do this. And it does require you to have a password, so you're going to need to type one in in the virtual machine. And then go ahead and hit Finish. You're going to have to have some numbers in here. There we go. Got to have some numbers and letters in there. Probably a capital letter or something. So finish, and then it'll finalize settings, and then it will load you to the this screen. And you're going to want to do the control delete input. And you'll need to type in your password. And it's going to load everything and log you in. And I think it will do the little uh, setting up screen here, maybe. So it's going to configure your desktop. And you will eventually get to the desktop. And there you go. And then on the bottom right it says Windows Server 2016 Standard Technical Preview 5. And this is build number 14300 at the time of this video. So there will be more in the future, but at the current time this is what it is. So. This is Windows Server 2016 Technical Preview uh, in VirtualBox or VMware. Thank you guys for watching. Like the video if this helped you out. Share it so it can help others out as well. Um, comment for your ideas of what I should do. And also subscribe for more videos. Once again, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video.